Hi, everybody. Um, I'm really excited to be here with you guys today and um, making this audio. Um, and the reason I'm doing an audio right now and not a video is purely because of the fact that this is quick for me and I want to get the information out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, and uh, I have a client shortly. So I really... This was just a spectacular experience, and I am still in complete shock and awe. Um, so let me just tell you how my last week, week and a half has been. Since my last video that I made regarding my pineal gland opening, um, I've been really busy taking my clients and making sure I'm taking care of everybody. Um, and through that time, because I'm um, finding myself way bus busier than I was a few months ago, um, and during that time of being in these sessions in this high, high frequency um, and, you know, channeling for five to eight hours, well, being in the space of channeling for that long, um, and then stepping out of that space when my session is over and coming into the real world, um, it's a really big adjustment for me. And I am taking time every single day to make sure that I'm finding balance because um, I have committed myself to a lot of you. And it's not only really important for me to take care of myself so I can feel good, um, but I want to feel good so that we can enjoy these experiences together. Mm, these sessions are just getting better and better and better. And I just, um, I'm truly in awe right now of what's been going on. So last week, for about the week, last week, week and a half, I've been trying to find my balance. A lot of meditation. Um, there's been some tears and there's been a lot of positive programming, a lot of I am aff affirmations and um, just a lot of focused intention into how I do want to feel consistently so that I can get back into my high, high space. Um, and then so yesterday I was driving home and. I saw Alice and Co. had posted another video and I got really excited because I just adore her. I feel so connected to, I guess, her energy and the way she talks about her sessions um, because I, I feel that same passion. So it's really exciting. Um, and listening to her audio yesterday, which I will leave a link in the description um, she made me realize something when, when her client was in session and began talking with the Pleiadians and about contact and about, um, you know, them coming and actually landing and she, or the, the, the person in the session had said, you know, all we have to do is ask, we have to just ask for this communication and then she said you know and it's best that you orchestrate this meeting more formally you know um don't just say hey come talk to me and then have these beings come talk to you kind of set up a time and a space for this gathering and right in that moment that really hit my heart and I was like okay I'm gonna do that tonight and and it was funny because Alice and Co. said, well, this was planned, you know, this session was a meeting, so are they here with us now? And they're like, oh, absolutely. And um, it just really clicked for me. So in my session last night, after listening to the Alice and Co. thing, I had asked, um, well, I guess I asked in my drive, my drive home is when I was consciously asking this. I was asking for um, my galactic team and guides to show up. And I got really excited about that. You know, I was like, we're meeting tonight. We're going to be in this beautiful space together. And this is what I want out of this. Um, 
I wanted to be able to feel them. I wanted to be able to connect with them and get new information that I might be able to bring into these sessions. And we went through the session and um, it was a beautiful, beautiful session, but uh, I did not receive contact from my um, galactic team, family, guides, if you will, at that time. So no big deal, left the session, sat and had some dinner. Um, and this was about 8.30 last night, 8.45 last night. And um, then I went and sat out on the porch with Teresa and we were just kind of talking about our day and um, it was just a really calm, peaceful evening. And then she went to bed and I stayed out on the porch because I like to spend time um, just looking up at the stars and I'm just really in love with the sky right now. And um, I've been told by my guides, uh, both back when I was channeling Augzil and just my, my guides now, that there are ships over my house and I can communicate with them. So I do that and I sit out there and I just talk to the sky and I live in my little beautiful space. Um, but last night was different, you guys. I, I am literally still in shock of last night. So I had sent my intention on meeting my guides today and, and having this meeting. And um, what I received was far different than what I thought I would have gotten. So I was sitting out on the porch last night and I could hear the crickets in the grass and I was kind of looking over at our tomato plants and how they're growing. We've gotten a lot of rain here in Texas lately, so everything is very lush and beautiful right now. And I was sitting there and then I had this sensation within my body of being returned, but it felt different in, in weird, if you will, because I didn't leave the chair. I was still in the chair, but I had this feeling of just in that moment returning to the chair. And I had asked my guides what that was, and I received an answer that I didn't expect, and it was from the Pleiadians. It was not from my higher self. And a Pleiadian came forward and s said, They had taken me up to the ship and allowed me to remember it so that I could not be in fear because I've always known that I've been in very deep connection with the galactics, but it's always kind of made me nervous or scared me a little bit for them because, because for one, their frequency was extremely strong in my earlier days of connection. Their frequency was so strong compared to where I was um, that it created like an anxiety in my body. And now I understand that because I feel the ascension waves and I feel this heightened energy. And when we get blasted with these as ascension waves, I start to feel um, a little of that anxiety feeling in my solar plexus. And then I'm like, OK, here's the energy. It's really high right now. And I breathe through it and it'll dissipate. Because as I breathe through my heart, I'm allowing my body to regulate and rise its frequency to match whatever this energy just brought in. Um, and this is a tool I've been working with that's been working beautifully. So by all means, help yourself with that um, if, it, if it calls, calls you. Um, so anyways, they took me up to the ship and I completely remember it. I remember everything, you guys. I remember I had two beings with me. They were escorting me. And when I appeared in the ship, I was in a corridor, uh, per se, that, that went into this larger room. Um, and this larger room was kind of round. And it had like tunnels veering off in all different directions. And it looked like these were just corridors that went down to different sections of the ship. But the particular section that I was in had these capsule looking things that um, kind of looked like a human size Tylenol almost. Um, and they opened up like a tanning bed. 
And the top portion of this sort of tanning bed looking capsule was um, like a clear glass, but it was crystal. It was um, crystal, like quartz crystal. And, but, it, but it looked like glass. It was clear and polished like glass, but they're telling me it's made from crystal. So when I get to this machine, they help me in it. They're very gentle. They're extremely loving. I did not have any fear whatsoever. I actually had no emotion, to be honest. I didn't feel any emotion. It was very neutral. It was like a void of emotion. Um, I just felt frequency. And they put me into the capsule and they closed it. And there were um, like these vents that went into the, the machine. And this machine blew healing properties at me. It came out kind of like a foggy mist but it was crystallized in nature um, and it held a lot of information and it penetrated. I could like watch it penetrating through my skin and going into my body. It uh, had a consciousness, this energy, this healing energy that they were giving me had a consciousness. It did not um, fill the capsule. It knew that it was there to penetrate me and my body and my particular needs and that's exactly what it did it kind of filled the air around my body but it didn't like fill it all the way up to the glass just filled the air around my body and then you could just see it kind of penetrating into the body um this was extremely healing and it was an upgrade at the same time and um, I'm, this just happened last night, so I haven't completely, um, I don't think, assimilated all of the energies yet. I think there's more information to come about what exactly happened and kind of shifted in, um, in this machine. But I know it was healing me, and I know it had upgraded my body. I felt it vibrating through my body. Um, at that time, I felt joy, pure joy, pure bliss. Um, and they were upgrading me. That's, I mean, that's all it was. And then they put me right back down in my chair. And they put me back down in the chair so perfectly at that precise moment in time that I never would have noticed the difference if they didn't allow me to remember. And that was really, really cool because then I sat in my chair and I had this remembering of just being at the ship and I felt it in my body. I had goosebumps head to toe. I could barely catch my breath. I knew what had just happened. And right after that, one of the Pleiadians that was with me at my side um, came through and explained to me kind of what happened. <sighs> and they're telling me that this is, um, I'm experiencing this more galactic experience right now uh, because of the pineal gland shift that I had in my last video that I told you all about. So... And they're telling me this isn't going to stop. This is going to continue. They're telling me that they're doing this to all of us, to all of humanity. That's why there's so many ships in our atmosphere right now. The Pleiadians are here. The ships have been gathered. Um, it's not that they're just waiting up there for, you know, this mass awakening to happen so they can assist. They're assisting us right now. Um, and they were saying, you know, anytime you want help, anytime you want healing, all you have to do is ask. And in that moment, because you have asked, this is the only way they can kind of intervene at this point. Um, not the only way, but like this is one of the major ways they can intervene at this point. If you ask your galactic team for help, especially the Pleiades, even if you don't feel a strong connection to the Pleiadians, 
If you were to ask them to assist you in that moment, they cut through time, they gather you, they bring you to the ship, they give you all the healing you need, and they upgrade your genetic coding so that when you come back down, you can manage your frequencies better within this uh, simulation. Um, because it's falling apart and what they're doing is they're filling up these gaps of energy within our bodies and our energy fields. Um, and it's funny because this is something that I've been talking about a lot in my sessions to my clients. After we do this healing work, it's kind of like we're Swiss cheese and we're left with these kind of pockets of a void almost where this denser energy used to be. And that's why sometimes after you get healing work done, you can feel really emotional or vulnerable. And what I decided to do a few months back is I started to do this self-programming and I started listening to I am affirmations and, and feel good things, um, Abraham Hicks rampages and just beautiful meditations. And I would choose to fill those pockets with that energy. And doing that process really transformed um, my release and my way that I'm kind of navigating through these ascension waves because I really haven't been purging a whole lot. And I think it's because I catch the energy release right in the moment and I feel it, I recognize it, and I feel it. And that's allowing me to not have this um, purge as much. Um, because I know there's still energy within me shifting. It's not like I'm not shifting and I'm not growing and I'm not releasing. I absolutely am. Um, but my meditation has brought me to this state of sensitivity where I can be aware of when I release something. And in that moment, because I know I'm releasing, I choose to use a tool. And by doing this, I'm being very active in my, I'm participating very actively in my ascension process. And this is what I'm urging all my clients to do right now is to follow these practices through this healing and allow yourself to be more of an active participant. We have tools. We know things work to raise our vibration. So after you feel a shift or a release, make sure that we're moving into, okay, how do I feel this? Who am I becoming now and what energy can I bring into this space? so that I can move in that direction and it's extremely powerful so there's a lot of shifts going on with me you guys and um, there's a lot of new experiences a lot of otherworldly experiences that are going on and we are definitely in some really big energy right now um, I think some really big things are going to continue to happen uh, up until the end of the month and um, I don't feel like the intensity of this energy is going to back off by any means. So if you're waiting around for the energy to release you, um, give, your, give yourself a couple of days of self-love and allow yourself to be in this space of rest because sometimes that is exactly what you're needing. Um, um, Dr. Keenan, I think is his name. Uh, his handle. He is an astrologer and his name is Keenan and he does a lot of YouTube videos. And I also follow him on Instagram, you guys. And he posted something yesterday regarding, you know, sometimes being um, a participant in your own energy work is just knowing when to rest and when to just be and just let it let it be what it is. And I think that is such great sound advice. And if you guys are not following him too, um, he puts out uh, astrology updates and these energy updates and forecasts on his Instagram consistently. I mean, every day he's letting us know kind of what's going on and what's in the stars for us. So um, definitely look, in, look into his page. Um, I think there's something there. So I would love to be making more videos right now, um, but I'm feeling very called to do my inner work. And I'm also being really called to work with people through, um, through these sessions. And that's why I've decided to continue doing them donation basis right now. Um, these Beyond Quantum Healing sessions have just been absolutely phenomenal. And you just see the healing happen right away and you see the expansion and understanding so many times we're given these clues of what you know 
like these puzzle pieces of our ascension. And when we can get into this really relaxed space together so through some guided imagery, um, you are just in such an allowing space that you allow these pieces to connect themselves, you know, you allow in the energy of the higher self and then you can see and experience from broader perspective and it allows you this whole new idea of who you are and who you're becoming. And I know this is the space that I'm supposed to be in with people right now. If you are feeling drawn to these BQH sessions, it is definitely the time to experience it. Um, like I said, I'm doing donation only and there are people that are donating only $20 and there are people that are paying full price. So whatever is fitting your po pocketbook for this experience, know that you can afford it um, and it's definitely worth, worth a try. So, and I know there's a lot of other practitioners out there. So um, I know there's some people that have been reaching out to me about wanting to do more of a face-to-face -face session, which I do um, offer if you are in my area. Um, but if that's something you really want and we're not in close proximity, um, you can go on to the Quantum Healers uh, website and you can search in your area for people that are practicing um, BQH and QHHT and hypnosis and channel channeling modalities. Um, you can kind of see a wide variety of what everybody's doing. And these people are amazing. And we're all here because we are being inspired and drawn to help. So don't, don't hesitate to look out um, in, in different avenues and platforms because you just never know what you're going to find. And, you know, I feel like we're connecting a lot to our soul family through these modalities. I think... Um, it's been such a blessing for me because I'm able to actually see you and, and talk to you and get to know you. And I already feel such a strong connection with my followers um, and, and this whole tribe that we have created here on the Internet and social media. So um, just reach out and expand. We are not alone um, we are coming together now more than ever, and it is such a beautiful thing, you guys. Such a beautiful thing. Um, <laughs> I just looked down at my recording, and it said 2222, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. What I am going to do is add on um, last night when I had my experience with the Pleiadians. I... Um, immediately after opened up my voice notes and started telling myself that I needed to remember this because I could feel it fading really quickly. And not only did I leave myself a voice note on um, remembering it, I began another one right afterwards about something I was like, oh, and you have to remember this, you know, this is why you had to see that. And as I started to create that voice note, um, the Pleiadian actually came through and channeled directly through me, uh, which was a really cool experience. So I'm going to attach those to the back of this so you can go ahead and hear that as well. And that will be it. Check the description box for all of the beautiful links. Um, and I love you guys and I hope you're doing so well. We are moving into a lot of really quickening energy right now. Um, and like I said earlier, I don't have a lot of time right now to um, make videos, but I am making a more conscious effort to post some energy updates on my Facebook page and my Instagram. So um, if you guys are looking for some of those energetic updates and reminders on how to navigate through some of this stuff when it gets a little mucky or you just need a little vibrational hug, um, go check out my Instagram and my Facebook because it's a little easier for me to manage that right now. Um, yeah, and I, I just, I love you guys and I'm sending love out to you and um, I'm holding the light and I hope you are too. We're so close and um, I can really feel things beginning to shift right now. So just um, keep loving yourself through it. Keep listening to your body. Um, Follow the, the nudges that seem like sometimes they're just nothing, that it's, that it's just you thinking something because 
it's not always the case. You know, a lot of times that's the easiest way for our higher self to communicate with you is to make you think too that you're thinking it um, because then you, you listen. So, yeah, I hope you're having a beautiful week. There's just a lot of greatness going on right now, a lot of discovery. Um, I will be talking to you guys soon. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you on my other platforms. I love you all. And if you do uh, want to set up a session, you can go ahead and email me. I'll have my email in the description box as well. Bye, you guys. I love you so much. I don't even know how to explain this right now, but you have to remember this. They just made you consciously aware of you coming back to the same time and the same place after going and being on the ship. Wow. They said you were there for four days and they brought you back at the same exact precise time that it was like the time had sewn together so perfectly your consciousness couldn't even have noticed it. And this is how they heal us. And this is how they answer all of our energetic needs in the moment. They take us up to the ship and they heal us and they place us back down at the same exact time so that we can continue forward feeling whatever we had asked for, whether it was strength, clarity. Wow. And then I doubted it and they did it again. They gave me the same exact sensation of being placed back in the chair on the porch, crickets, yet I've been gone. And I asked them how long and they said five days. Yet I'm right here, right now, in the same space that I was. It's like nothing ever existed other than that thought. Yet within that thought, I remember it. I remember. I remember it happening. I can feel it in my body. I don't even know how to explain this right now, but you have to remember this. They just made you consciously aware of you coming back to the same time and the same place after going and being on the ship. They said you were there for four days and they brought you back at the same exact precise time that it was like the time had sewn together so perfectly your consciousness couldn't even have noticed it. And this is how they heal us. And this is how they answer all of our energetic needs in the moment. They take us up to the ship and they heal us and they place us back down at the same exact time so that we can continue forward feeling whatever we had asked for, whether it was strength, clarity. Wow. And then I doubted it and they did it again. They gave me the same exact sensation of being placed back in the chair on the porch, crickets, yet I've been gone. And I asked them how long and they said five days. Yet I'm right here, right now, in the same space that I was. It's like nothing ever existed other than that thought. Yet within that thought, I remember it. I remember. I remember it happening. I can feel it in my body. Okay. 
I don't even know how to explain this right now, but you have to remember this. They just made you consciously aware of you coming back to the same time and the same place after going and being on the ship. Oh, wow. They said you were there for four days and they brought you back at the same exact precise time that it was like the time had sewn together so perfectly your consciousness couldn't even have noticed it. And this is how they heal us. And this is how they answer all of our energetic needs in the moment. They take us up to the ship and they heal us and they place us back down at the same exact time so that we can continue forward feeling whatever we had asked for, whether it was strength, clarity. Wow. And then I doubted it and they did it again. They gave me the same exact sensation of being placed back in the chair on the porch. Crickets. Yet I've been gone. And I asked them how long and they said five days. Yet I'm right here, right now, in the same space that I was. It's like nothing ever existed other than that thought. Yet within that thought, I remember it. I remember. I remember it happening. I can feel it in my body. Okay. I don't even know how to explain this right now, but you have to remember this. They just made you consciously aware of you coming back to the same time and the same place after going and being on the ship. Oh, wow. They said you were there for four days and they brought you back at the same exact precise time that it was like the time had sewn together so perfectly your consciousness couldn't even have noticed it. And this is how they heal us. And this is how they answer all of our energetic needs in the moment. They take us up to the ship and they heal us and they place us back down at the same exact time so that we can continue forward feeling whatever we had asked for, whether it was strength clarity wow and then I doubted it and they did it again they gave me the same exact sensation of being placed back in the chair on the porch crickets yet I've been gone and I asked them how long and they said five days Yet I'm right here, right now, in the same space that I was. It's like nothing ever existed other than that thought. Yet within that thought, I remember it. I remember. I remember it happening. I can feel it in my body. Okay. It's important that I'm shown this so I can understand how connected I am galactically. They're saying, we are here to assist you in any way you need us to. Anything you ask for, we will do. There is no separation any longer. We are connected and want you to understand how intertwined your day-to-day -day living is with the essence of our guidance and our healing capabilities within the ascension. 
and within the 3D life in itself. But we're here to help. And this was the easiest way to show you that we take you and we heal you and we assist in your journey on your behalf for the good of all, for the good of everything. And if we were just to come down and take you, there would be fear. And we don't want there to ever be any fear. We are trying to dismantle the fear. So this was the easiest way for us to show you that you were safe and protected and that we are just here to guide you but it is always on your behalf it is always of your choosing and this is why for so many it's so important to literally ask out loud or in the mind's eye for guidance for healing for relief There is so much power in your words when you summon us forth for clarity. Utilize this for your benefit. And if you do choose to share this message, it is extremely important that all know this is not a communication to just one being. This is happening to every single one of you that is of the light. You are being guided and cared for. And in moments of distress, you are being pulled out of your reality and you are allowed healing and relief. And then you are placed back into your reality. We are here to assist everybody. There are many, many star systems and planetary systems that have incarnated their entire race upon the earth just to be a part of this experience and you are here and we are a part of your experience and our excitement and thrill was just as high as yours even though we stayed on this side of the veil. We have always been trying to guide and, and align energies on the behalf of humanity. We understand the process you are going through. And you have our full support. 